What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I'm going through the way that I make the most money whilst doing dynamic events. Before the Frontier Pursuits update I used to love going through dynamic events. I did a number of different money methods where I will go through these events and I'll have them in a set route. I'll carry on going through that route and eventually I'll come across one of these events. I'll play through it and I'll make sure that I take my time trying to make myself as much money as possible. The routes themselves have not changed that much. If you want to go through one of these routes i'll leave a link in the description down below as well as there'll be a card on screen which you can now click and that'll take you straight to that video in that video you'll have five or six different locations for dynamic events and i'll show you the route that i take to go through each and every one and how i make the most money out of it since this game has been updated there are a few other things that i do now around these routes the route themselves still stay the same so you can go and watch that but the, what i do now before setting up is i make sure that my camp is up and running that means once i go over to cribs he's got a full bar of animal parts and production is up and running as well. That way Cribs is able to make goods in the background whilst I can go off and do whatever it is I want to do. And in this case, we will be going off to do a few dynamic events. The other thing that I make sure that I do is that I know certain locations full of collectibles. If you do not know where every single collectible is, which is completely understandable, I don't think anyone knows exactly where every collectible is off the top of their head. You can find yourself a bunch of different tutorials on YouTube where I'll show you every single map location and every single collectible location as well as there is also a bunch of different maps online where you could just find every single collectible within the game and I'll show you each and every point and you can choose which point you want to go to. So that means when you do come across one of these dynamic events by going through the route the camp is all set up and running you're able to make a lot of money through the camp. As soon as you go over to this person that needs help you interact with them they'll ask you to take them to a set location and at that point you can then go off and find as many different collectibles as you possibly can within the time that you have by using these collector maps and these tutorials that you can find on YouTube. Dynamic events are slightly different to Stranger Missions. Stranger Missions give you a timer straight away, whereas dynamic events will not give you a timer straight away. In fact, they do not give you a timer up until the 15 minute mark. At 15 minutes, it'll then show you a five minute timer and you have to complete that dynamic event before that timer runs out. What I make sure I do is that I find as many different collectibles within that 15 minute mark and as soon as it gets down to that last five minute mark that is when I start heading to the location that that stranger wants to go to. I make sure that I complete this dynamic event within the last 30 seconds that way I'm able to get the most money, gold and XP from the dynamic event and it also means that I'm maximizing the amount of time that I'm spent trying to find as many collectibles as possible. By having all of this going you're able to make around about $20 for the dynamic event itself by completing it within the last 30 seconds. You're also looking at around about another $20 at camp but that does mean that you have to go back to your camp and actually do a delivery. If I'm by myself, I'll only do a short distance delivery. If I was in a posse, I'll be doing a long distance delivery just so I'm able to get the most amount of money out of that. And then on top of that, where you're getting a real chunk of money is by finding those collectibles. In a video that you are now seeing on screen, I was able to get myself 11 different collectibles within the time limit of 20 minutes whilst doing this dynamic event. The collectibles that I get were coins, family heirlooms, and tarot cards. I did not get anything else. And with collectibles, you're looking at around about an average of $10. So to get 11 cards within 20 minutes, that's $110 at least. Family heirlooms as well as coins can also be pushing up to $20. So it can be even more than $110. But if we're looking at the bare minimum, because it does depend on the location that you're in, because not every location has that many collectibles, and depending on the location and depending on what collectibles you get, also depends on how much money you're able to get. If you're only collecting eggs and flowers, you're going to be making a lot less money. But if we take the 11 collectibles that I got, and say that the average for collectibles is $10, that's $110. And on top of that, I was able to get $20 through the dynamic event. And on top of that, I was able to get another $20 for the camp. You're seeing that I'm able to make around about $150 within 20 minutes, which is actually a very good return. But like I said, that is an average. Even in this video that you're seeing, I did make more than that because I did collect only family heirlooms, tarot cards, and also coins. But anyway, guys, that is the way to make the most money whilst doing dynamic events within this game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.